Genesis 24, 67 says, Then Isaac brought her into her mother Sarah's tent, and he took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. Thus Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Genesis 24, 62 through 25, 11, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, I don't have any firm statistics, but I would generally say that men are very close to their mothers. Obviously, there are exceptions, and there may be a great many of them. But I would say that a mother's play a significant role in their son's lives, even after marriage and to their own deaths. Please notice that Isaac was comforted by Rebecca after his mother's death. Isaac transferred his relationship with his mother to his relationship with his wife. Now, I'm not suggesting that everything he had with his mother he put on his wife and vice versa. But what I am saying is that in the place of comfort, that place of security moved from Sarah to Rebecca. Well, sometimes our love for our mother carries too much weight and it interferes with our love for our wives. If you've ever told your spouse, well, my mother didn't cook that way, or that's not the way my mom did it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I would bet that a significant portion of trouble is found in the fact that we really want our mothers to take care of us, and that it is transferred in some way to our wives. Now, it's said that son marries their daughters, and daughters marry their fathers. My guess is that's a pretty good truism. But a problem arises when we take our love for our parents and we transfer that to our spouse. Our spouse is our equal. Our parents will never be our equal. My mother was always my mother. My father was always my father. And even though I grew into adulthood, that relationship remained intact that way. I've observed marriages where the spouse carries his mother or father into the marriage. It never works out well. It's always cause for stress because the spouse can never live up to their perceived value of that parent. We are to love our spouses in a different way than we love our parents or our children. We are to be bound to our spouses with both emotionally and physically. When God through Adam said that they would become one flesh, he meant one entity, undivided and loyal to one another. That is the only way that we can comfort one another. <music> 